Hey, good morning, guys. I'm out here in my local mall. Um, I'm not really trying to get the force. I just wanted to do some kind of a report this morning to see how um, they're doing. Like, are they moving off the shelves and stuff like that? I know it's going to sell well because I've seen how they're doing on, on like, third-party marketplaces. So I just wanted to, like, confirm with my own eyes to see uh, if they will be sitting at some point. But... Um, I'm going to be doing that, and I'm just going to visit, like, I guess three uh, places. Uh, downtown locker room. Uh, Foot Locker is um, gone. They they shut down the Foot Locker in my local mall. So I got another Foot Locker, which is in a place where there's only one Foot Locker in there. And I'm going to check Champs and then Finish Line, and that's about it. I don't have time to drive through all these other places. I'm just going to stay here and we'll see what happens okay all right first location is champs obviously um they're not open yet they did uh a raffle so they don't have any reason to be open early so i'm not gonna be able to do anything here just yet i'm i guess i'm gonna come back later on today maybe around four or five to see what happens but i got good news for you because if you look there this is finish line, and I don't want to record the people, but if you look there, finish line is first come, first serve, and the line has about about 25 people in there already, which is a good sign because you don't see this happen again. I'm going to try to go to the side and see if I can record that from upstairs. All right, so bear with me. I hope you can see that this is the finish line line, and there are more people coming. So finish line is the first one to be open, and right now I can count about uh, a good 18 people in there. You see they're diving, trying to get their stuff. This is a good thing because this often doesn't happen. Again, this hasn't happened for any releases, especially when it's a general release. So you see that people are still wanting to get these Jordans. And if Nike would stick to the editor amplifier, that'd be a good thing. So I'm, I'm actually excited to see that. You know, there's still some kind of, of an excitement for certain uh, retros. So this is it, this is finish line. Our full, um, downtown locker room is not open yet, so I'm not gonna be able to do much there just yet. So what I'll do is I'll come back later on today and ask more questions. You can see those two ladies just came out of finish line and they came to grab it for their husbands maybe. Cause you know, like old school dudes want these shoes, especially, you know, with the Nike logo on the back, that's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna try to see uh, if there's any action at, at downtown locker room, all right? Bad with my champs and I'm asking a couple of questions so for you know respecting the people that work here I'm not gonna show faces but again like I said I'm just doing a release report so I don't need to show faces so I'm, I'm here with uh, one of the employees and I'm gonna ask her uh, did you uh, are all the shoes accounted for yeah so you heard her she said yes so that means the shoe is sold out so everyone every single one of the pairs that they got are accounted for so champs basically sold out so this is a good sign again for Jordan Brain when they release the right shoe, things happen. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Thank see, you. Um, you see here, DTLR is not open yet, and I guess they did raffle too. So I might be coming back later on today, but I just want to show you, still not open. All right. Yeah, obviously, you you heard what happened. You know, I went in there, and James uh, wasn't open, but they are allowing people to come in and grab their stuff. Like if you if you won the raffle. Uh, they, they are open early for you to come in now and get it. And and I actually overheard one of the employees uh, talk to a guy that was inquiring. He asked, um, are the shoes gone? She goes, yes, everybody, they are all accounted for. But if they don't pick it up by 3 p.m., you can come and grab a pair. It's going to be first come, first serve at that time. I'm not going to be coming back here. I just wanted to show you that this shoe is actually uh, uh, something that people want. You know what I mean? And it's obvious. The fours, bread fours, with a Nike logo on the back. I mean, that was like a no-brainer. People want it. You saw the line, a finish line. They did first come, first serve, and people are actually lining up there trying to grab the sneaker. Now, downtown locker room did first come, first serve, and I guess by uh, 3 p.m., if people don't pick it up, they'll do the same thing. You can come and snatch a, uh, a pair if you want. Now, uh, Foot Locker is no longer operational in this place, so that makes uh, it interesting. I wish I could gather some intel on that, but I can't. So, but, you know, 
the the the, the point of this is this. It's a quick release report. I'm not trying to like go around and ask people a lot of questions. All I'm trying to show here is this. When Nike releases the right shoe, people are going to get it. Even at $200, which I think is too much, people are going to get it. Just give people what they want. All right? The whole edit on to amplify is, is, is about that. Like, give people what they want and help re retailers uh, make some sales. When they release all this garbage, nobody wants it and retailers are stuck with it. Now, if Nike would just do the right thing and just give people the things that they want, it's going to be okay and then things are going to roll. You know what I mean? That's all that I'm doing here. I'm really trying to show, that's what I'm trying to show, that when a brand decides to put in the market a shoe that actually uh, people want, sales are going to happen. And Nike needs to learn. And they know it. I mean, it's not like Nike is stupid. They know exactly why they're not, they're not doing it. You know, and, and I think it's unfortunate because retailers are paying the price. The consequences, you see a bunch of stuff sitting on the wall. So Nike just has to remember that, you know, retailers heavily rely on nike to make ends meet you know like if you look at any store here in, in this mall here, downtown locker room chains and finish line their wall is heavily uh loaded with nike sneakers so if you're giving people garbage what do you think is going to happen to these retailers they're not going to make any sales chris uh, from arch and i talk about this whole thing on several of our videos which you're probably going to be able to click on uh, as i'm talking here all right, so again, I don't think I'm going to be coming back to do a, a roundup this afternoon. So, like I said, the shoe is doing okay and it's doing well for retailers. So, Nike helped these guys make their sales, all right? And and then release the right shoe and people are going to want to get it. All right, guys, I hope you have a good day and uh, stay tuned for more stuff.